Hello, welcome to Abby Dashery. Today I'm going to show you how I transformed a pile of old scarves into a shower curtain. I have a vast collection of scarves, chiffon scarves and vintage silk scarves. I've always wanted like a double shower curtain so I could just pull the curtains down and across while I was in the bath, you know. And the colour that we decided to do the bathroom walls, um, it makes me think of the jungle and it makes me think of lagoons. And so I decided to go with the jungle theme. But you could pick any theme that you wanted or you could just mismatch scarves. It would look really good. But we are doing a jungle boho bathroom. So... I made jungle boho shower curtains. So this was actually quite quick and easy considering what it is. It took me like a day and a half to do. Now I just want to say from the very beginning that I am not a seamstress, I am self-taught. So if you're looking for some kind of a video that tells you the technically correct way to make a shower curtain then you're in the wrong place. If you want to create something beautiful out of something old using the skills that you have, this is the video for you. This is, you're in the right place. So, these are the things you're going to need. You need a collection of scarves, chiffon scarves, silk scarves. You need a sewing machine and some thread. Now, you could hand sew this. It is, it would be possible. It would just take a lot longer. A tape measure probably won't go amiss and some scissors. So basically what I did um, was I got all my scarves together in a pile and I kind of picked out the ones that had colours that went with the theme that I had in my head. So what I went with was greens and animal prints. Now my scarves were different sizes, some were big and some were small so I separated them into size and then I sewed all the big ones together. So I ended up with just one big long piece of fabric. I then did exactly the same to the small pieces. I sewed them all together end to end and made one long piece of fabric. You need to measure your existing shower curtain or the space where your shower curtain is going to be so that you know how long this needs to be. Then what I did was I cut these big lengths to size. Then what I did was I cut these two lengths in half basically. So I had two panels made from the big scarves and two panels made from the small scarves. Are you staying with me? Is it making sense? Now, one of the big sections is for one curtain and one of the big sections is for the other curtain. And the two small sections, the same. So now what I did was I laid the big section next to the little section and I sewed them together. And that's one curtain. I then did the same with the other two pieces. Now you're left with two patchwork panels. And hopefully because of the way you've patched the original fabric, it won't be neat, so the panels should have all different colours next to each other. So it should look really mismatchy. Which is exactly how I like it. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I did was hem them both all the way around. So I did the two sides first and then I hem the bottom and I hem the top. So now all that's left is to create a space for you to feed your shower pool through. So all I did was folded the top of the curtain down and pinned it. Now I left a four inch gap which should be plenty of gap for the shower pool and for movement because obviously you need to move a shower curtain. So I pinned that and sewed it, and that is it. It's quite a lot simpler than you would think, isn't it? So then I hung them and I found some lovely beaded tie backs. Um, my boyfriend put some hooks up, and this is what they look like now. This really has been one of my favourite projects ever. Like, I'm really glad that I did it. I just think it looks great. So I hope you like it as well. Thank you so much for watching. And I shall see you again next time. <laughs>